Hi, welcome to Gang Crafts. Mr. G here. Sorry if the video quality is not that great. I got this camera back in like 2005. <laughs> it's gonna do for now until we upgrade. So I hope it's okay. Most of the filming is gonna be done with my phone, but I'm gonna do some footages here and there with, with this camera. Today's video is gonna be on hand cream and check out the rest of our videos on our channel. Don't forget that like button and subscribe button at the bottom. Mr. G has been hard at work posting videos and now it's my turn to post some videos. Today's my first video. I'm gonna do some testing on how I like my footage. We're gonna walk through the video and I'm gonna give you guys some commentary. Whenever I start, I like to clean my equipment and my utensils, make sure everything's nice and clean. And if it's still a little bit wet, I'll use a paper towel. I don't use a regular towel. Our house is all full of cats and dogs. Every, all our towels are full of lint hair. <laughs> and I made about a dozen batches so far and I haven't been really happy with the product <coughs> yet. I'm a bit of a perfectionist, but now I have made the product that I wanna sell. So today I'm gonna take you through that journey process. I like to count to make sure I have all the product. First I like to start with my waters, making sure that my temperature is at temp. You know I started this whole journey with Mrs. G. She is the artist of the two of us. I'm not a good drawer. <laughs> but I love to work and create with my hands. Making soap is an art to me and I want to share that with all of you. I got into cosmetics because I wanted to branch out a product. I firmly believe it matters what you put on your skin and the affordability of it. But with today's inflation, you shouldn't have to break the bank. One thing I'm really good at is I'm really good at doing research. I want to give something unique and unisex. It had to be cost effective and give the most for your buck. We have ingredients like shea butter. I put shea butter in. I put that in everything. We have cocoa butter, sweet almond oil, grapeseed, apricot, easily absorbs into the skin. There's aloe and coconut oil. Any thinner than I would have to get into ingredients that you wouldn't be able to pronounce. And our motto is not selling you something that you can't pronounce. Also, I'd like to make a shout out to my wife. Check out her painting there. That's her newest one she's working on right now. I like to check my temperatures once in a while. Make sure we're at 212. And I like to keep it at 212 for at least 20 minutes to kill all the pathogens and everything. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about our ingredients. First ingredient, we got a sweet almond oil. It's offering moisturizing, nourishing, and soothing properties. Sweet almond oil can be safely used on the face. It also has the potential to reduce the appearance of wrinkles. We also have grapeseed oil. It's high in linoleic acid, which helps to strengthen the skin's barrier, reducing redness and inflammation caused by breakouts. Grapeseed oil also contains vitamin E. It hydrates, moisturizes your dry and irritated skin vitamin A and C and fatty acids. They hydrate the skin cells which leave your skin clear and nourished. Apricot's a great choice for dry skin. And we got my favorite shea butter. Shea butter has high concentrations of fatty acids and vitamins making shea butter an ideal cosmetic ingredient for softening skin. Shea butter also has anti-inflammatory and healing properties. Using shea butter on your body, especially your face, can condition, tone, and soothe your skin. We have cocoa butter. The fat in cocoa butter forms a protective barrier over skin to hold in moisture. Cocoa butter is also rich in natural plant compounds. Next, I move into my dry stuff. Start with your waxes. Anything that's going to take the longest to melt, you can start with that first. We have jojoba oil, very close to the natural oils of our skin. It has high vitamin E content, it's an excellent skin softener, and can smooth dry skin. We also have coconut oil, it's great to hydrate the skin and help it retain moisture. We also have aloe, one of the main benefits of aloe vera is its anti-inflammatory properties. I'm always mixing, 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 mixing. It can help to reduce the appearance of blemishes, pimples, and wrinkles. Aloe vera can also help to calm sunburn of skin. We also got soothing properties of floral water to help hydrate and balance the skin's pH levels. Add your butters. Notice that every time I do a new ingredient, I'm using a new container, new, new spoon. Finally, we have my secret ingredient, the rosemary extract. Along with being an anti-inflammatory, rosemary is also a strong estrogen. <music> Now that all the ingredients are in the pot, I then move on to cleaning. 
I'll clean my workstation. At the same time, I'll be stirring. The next step ready. Now we play the waiting game. Now I'm gonna keep the temperature steady at 212 Fahrenheit. I'm gonna try to burn off all the pathogens for 20 minutes. And we'll fast forward the, through this a little faster now. I want to save up for a couple of test tube beakers. I feel that it would be more easier and more professional for me to use when I'm making my batches. Right now I'm using what we had and as you can see my blender just reaches the bottom. I'm going to be using emulsifying blender from now on. I feel that that's going to be more easier for me to use and make a better result. My whole thing was I liked using the blender because the blender blades when they're moving is causing like an air vortex that's uh, cooling the product at the same time because the trick is you want to cool your product as fast as you can but as mixing it you want everything to bind as it's cooling. As you can see it's a nice perfect creamy I just want to blend it a little bit more make sure everything's all nice incorporated and then I can finally put it into this final container I'm looking for temperatures that are the same as my workstation. Flies nice and easily, very light, absorbs in the skin in a few minutes. This is the method that I'm always going to be using, is using the little silicone piping bag. I find that it gets it nice and in the corners and I can turn it around and fill in all the spaces and everything. It's like you're baking. Yeah, it's like you're baking. <laughs> I'm just filling it in, getting all the corners and everything. I like to smack it on the table, get rid of all the air bubbles and everything. And you put the lid on and it's nice and done. Thank you for watching my video. This is Mr. G and hope you enjoyed it. Thanks, bye.